Ancient theaters are semicircular or oblong roofless buildings that are centered on a main stage. The overall point of a theater was to have a large audience focusing their attention upon the main stage. Their exact used use varied from culture to culture, as did their design and building material of choice. However, the first was a Minoan theater at the Palace of Phaistos in 2000 BC. There are many ancient theaters in the world, but the most are commonly thought of ones are I either in Greece or Rome, and despite the fact they are basically the same culture, there is a difference in their design. A Greek theater was more akin to an amphitheater. In the fact, the word amphitheater is a combination of around and place of viewing. Greek amphitheaters are semicircular in shape with a raised seating overlooking a central stage. They tended to be built into the side of nature structures, like in sloping hills, for example, and were often located near religious monuments. It is suspected that this is due to drama being so closely linked to religion in Greek culture. The amphitheater itself is broken down into several parts. The orchestra is the circular, flat center in front of the stage upon which the musicians performed, though some sources say that it can be semicircular shape. Orchestra literally translates into the phrase dancing area, and was often constructed of marble or some other polished stone. The theatron is the audience seating area. It was often, in Greek theaters anyway, the part carved into the side of the mountains. This meant that the seats were often created out of whatever rock the theater itself was cut in, but they have also been found to be made of marble or cushion seats as well. The area between the theatron and the skein was called the paradoi. It was essentially an aisle used by actors to come and go. The skein is the backstage area. It was located directly behind the stage and often contained either a small room or a tent. It was decorated to correspond with whatever scene the play being performed needed. As time progressed and technology increased, machines could be built into the scheme to add special effects such as trapdoors and moving stage pieces. A Roman theater, however, was slightly different. Whereas Greek theaters tended to re rely upon natural structures and landscapes, the Romans would just build wherever they saw fit. They used a special blend of Roman concrete to build either a theater or an amphitheater wherever they wanted where the Greeks had only one type of theater that was used for whatever religious or entertainment purpose they needed. The Romans had two types. The first is a theater, which was essentially the same setup as a Greek amphitheater. It was a semicircle meant to broadcast sound outward to all the seats in the theater. It was used mainly for plays and some occasional religious uses. The other type is the Roman amphitheater. The amphitheater was circular or ovular and was completely surrounded by raised seating. It was primarily primarily used for gladiators and sporting events. It was the ancient equivalent to a sporting arena and was used as such.